Hey everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and today we're taking a look at a very old song. Well, actually, originally an old song from the early 1960s called People Get Ready, written by Curtis Mayfield and recorded uh, with his band back in the early 1960s. But since that time, this song has been covered numerous times, including artists like Bob Dylan and Bob Marley, Rod Stewart and Jeff Beck did a great version of this, and even Sierra Hull did a really cool mandolin version of this song, People Get Ready. Check that out on uh, YouTube. I'm, I know you'll like that one, but my version's a little bit different from hers. I'm going to show you just a basic little uh, background rhythm part and then a basic solo that you can play over top of it kind of a bluesy little solo all right but that'll be coming up in a few minutes first a little bit of business if you're new here thanks very much for checking us out but please don't hesitate to hit that little red subscriber button down there in the lower right corner if you are a returning subscriber thanks very much once again for coming back but don't hesitate to check out all of the goodies I have down below in the description box you can check out well you can check out a link to my new merch you can get yourself some RPM t-shirts and hoodies and things like that. You can also check out my Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin lesson series. That's a video lesson series. It's really great and it's only $29.99. You can't beat that price. That's like the cost of one lesson with a teacher. Finally, there's a link to my Patreon page down below, which will take you over to Patreon where you can get tab for this song and countless other mandolin songs that I do lessons for on this channel. Um, I'm adding them every week, pretty much, new tabs, and uh, some of those tabs that I've done over there are exclusive to my Patreon page. You can't find them anywhere else on uh, on the net, at least that, not that I've seen, so check that out. The Patreon link to my Rock and Pop Mandolin site is down below. But that's enough business. Let's check out this song by Curtis Mayfield called People Get Ready, Mandolin Version, here on RPM. <laughs> Okay, this song is in the key of D, and there's actually a couple of ways that you can play the introduction. I'll show you my way, and then I'll show you the way that Sierra Hall kind of does it as well on the mandolin. So my way is like this. Like that, all right? Sierra Hall does it up here. She has a little like that, a little run like that. But the one that I'm doing is here with an open D chord, all right? Your cowboy D. It's your second fret of the G string, open, open, and second fret of the E, all right, like that. And I'm just pulling like that. I'm just using that pinky finger there to grab the third fret and the second fret and then the open E. Now, some of you have asked me about the way that I make my D chord. I make my D chord, my open D like this, with these two fingers, and I use my pinky like that. Um, many other players will do it like this, all right? So you can, you can do it either way, right? I just find it's easier for me to go like that, all right? So that's the way I do it with the open D right from the beginning of the song. All right, and then open lick comes down to this fifth fret here. All right, so you go. All right, so you're coming down to that fifth fret as well. You're going. So two, three, two, open, fifth fret on the A. All right, so the D chord. And I'm leaving this finger ringing out and these strings kind of ringing out on that chord to give it a little more a little more fullness, a little richer uh, kind of sound on that chord. And I come down to there again on the fifth fret. All right, so from there I go, I go two open on the A string as well, okay? And then I grab a D chord here and then like that, okay? So slowly, so slowly, Right? So I'll do it single note here. Like that. And I'm using all down strokes with my right hand as well. Just like that. Okay, one more time. 
okay? And then you're grabbing a D chord here this time, this D, because you want that note to be your melody note, that fifth fret. So I'm grabbing this D now to move the pattern upwards like this. So that's the second fret here as well on the G. Fourth fret now on the D and that fifth fret on the A string, your melody note. So one more time, you're coming down, you're going, right? And then I'm just strumming all the way through like this, like that. All right, then you're moving to this chord configuration, and I actually don't know what that chord is. It could be some kind of a G chord or uh, maybe a G add, add nine. I'm not sure, but the fret is, frets are fourth fret here on the G string, fifth fret on the D, and the seventh fret on the A. All right, so you're coming from that D chord just once. And then you're moving right up here to the seventh fret, seventh fret, and ninth fret, which is a D chord. All right, this could be a C minor, I'm not really sure. But anyway, so the whole pattern goes like this. You hear, see how I strum through those chords again, right? So again, right? And then the second part of the pattern is almost the same. And then it just finishes differently. It finishes with this little double stop, uh, fifth fret here, of the D string and second fret of the A and like that. And back to your D chord again, all right? So you see that? So all the way through the pattern. And then that G, that little G double stop there. And that's it, that is the whole pattern for this song. It goes all the way through the track. Now, I'll show you what Sierra Hull does as well. She's uh, she's using that seventh fret voicing of a D chord, all right? So she's here on the seventh fret of the G, seventh fret of the D string, and the ninth fret there. Okay, that chord like that I just showed you, all right? The ninth fret up here, and then she's going, right? So she's utilizing her pinky finger up there to the 10th fret of the A string. So it's the same note, right? You see that? But I'm just using that whole chord now. It's like a bar chord, right? So she's going, right? And then, then she comes down with a that same chord I showed you before, which I think is some kind of G chord. Um, it's the 4th fret, 5th fret, and the 7th. She's using it now descending. I used it um, ascending on the way up. She's using it descending here. So like that. And then to a B minor chord like that, or a D chord, one or the other, catching that note there. So again, your main notes in this pattern are coming down on the A string instead of, instead of down there. It's the same notes. It's just in a different part of the neck, a different place on the neck. Okay, so one more time, right? So, and the rest of the pattern is exactly the same as what I played, all right? So the only part that's different is that beginning part. So the rest is the same. One more time. And the way I do it, there you go. Two different ways of playing People Get Ready. All right, and I'll show you the little solo, the bluesy little solo that I did, that I made up. I improvised it, and, uh, well, it's really fun to play. So here. So to start the solo, you might want to start like this. Just anchor your pointer finger right there, fifth fret of the A string. That is a D note, and that is the root of this pattern. This is a D, this is, the solo comes right out of a D major pentatonic scale. All right, so right there. But we're gonna start the solo two frets up, okay? Here, all right, that's an E note. And I'm gonna bend it a little bit. I'm gonna go just like that. So you're, you're kind of bending to that flat note there, right? So 
just like that. So seventh to five. So seven bend, five, seven, five. Again, slowly. Like that, okay? And then I come down here. So I'm going down to the D string now. So a little hammer on from seven to nine. Back to that fifth fret there. That's your, your root again, all right? Okay, so. Okay, and then. So I go back down again to that note. Once again, the ninth fret of your D string. And, and then coming up to the seven this time. Okay, so like this. One more time from the beginning of the solo. You see what I did there? I went. All right, and then I ended up there, which is the ninth fret of the A string. Okay, so the pattern so far is. All right, and then I go up here. Right, so seven, five on the E, and then nine, seven, five on the A. Just like that, descending, right? Right, to that D note, and then and then that little hammer on again. But this time I just do it once and go nine or seven, five, like that, okay? So one more time. All right, now that whole scale pattern so far goes like this. So the whole solo pattern so far goes like this. Actually, I do, I do that. So a couple of notes there. And again, I'm downstroking. I'm using the downstrokes for all of these notes, the whole thing. Okay, and the second part of the solo just jumps right up to here. So that's the 12th fret of the A up to the 7th fret of the E. So, and you come down to that 9th fret of the A. So like this. All right, and then again, that part we did before, right? Seven, nine, five, nine, seven, nine. So, and then one more time, that part again, seven, five, nine, seven, five, and then, right? And then I just do that hammer on again. So seven, nine, Five, five, seven, five. So let's do the solo one more time all the way through. And I, I slide when I go all the way up to that 12th fret. I slide on up there, all right? All right, that is it. That is Curtis Mayfield's People Get Ready, a classic song and a fairly simple song to get down, especially the solo. It's a wonderful little uh, bluesy solo, maybe to get you into soloing on the mandolin if you haven't done it yet. If you haven't approached soloing, this is a pretty easy one for you to learn. And uh, of course, the tab for this song will be available or is available over on the Patreon page. Thanks very much for tuning in to RPM once again. Don't forget to check out all the listings down below. Help the channel if you can, and we'll keep on putting out videos for you right here on RPM.